Amen. The service will be at 4 p.m. Amen. And it's requesting choir and congregation to accompany, accompany him at the service. Amen. Amen. And on uh, July 24th through the 28th, it will be Vacation Bible School. Amen. Amen. From 8. Amen. Amen. From 8 a.m. to 12 noon, breakfast and lunch will be served. Please see Sister Tasha Walker to sign your child up. And it's from ages 5 and up. Also, you bring them to church in the morning. Amen. Let them go home from di for dinner. And then you bring them right back on the evening. Amen. Because also it will be the youth conference. Amen. Amen. So they'll just be churching it out all week long. Amen. Morning, noon, and night. Amen. Amen. And I believe there's further more information concerning the youth conference that will be coming forth. Amen. We just want you to adhere to have your children in the house and be in the house. Those who feel young at heart, we can be in the house too and jump right along with them. Amen. Amen. Also, we just want you to make sure that you come to the home and for a mission service. And that will be on July 30th. That will also be at 4 p.m. Amen. That's the Sunday afternoon. Our guest speaker will be Pastor Dion Watkins from the uh, Mount Olive uh, Baptist Church down the street. Amen. And he will be bringing his congregation. Amen. So if anybody need to be in the house, it'll be letter in or else you won't get a seat. Amen. Because they'll be up in here in the house. Amen. 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 And somebody say, August 6th. August 6th. All right, we'll be celebrating our own bishop, the leader of this house. Amen. Amen. Celebrating 32 years of pastoral anniversary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we love our leaders. We love our pastor. We love our co pastor. We love our first family. Amen. And we want to celebrate with them all week. Amen. Making Pastor Hubert smile, 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 smile. Amen. We just want him to make him feel good. Amen. And not only that, we just want to make sure that he, that he knows that he is loved. Amen. 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 So we're going to be out all week long. The speakers will be coming forth at a later time, but we just want you to make sure you put that in your calendar because we want to make sure if nobody else is in the house, ladder rain should be in the house. Amen? Amen. If you have men and women's day pledges or roof offerings, you can please see Co-Pastor Jackie. Amen. And we just want you to remind you that the food pantry will be opening back up on July 22nd. Amen. I believe that concludes the rest of the announcements. I don't know if anybody want to come. Amen. Minister Billy is coming to uh, talk more about the youth conference. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, just so uh, you know, our speakers for uh, those three days, it's not all week, but it is the first three days of the week, the 24th to the 26th. And uh, our speakers on Monday evening will be Evangelist April Milner from uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, Revival Time uh, Ministries. On Tuesday evening, Elder Jeremy McCain from Ensonia, Connecticut, from the McCain's, the family group that uh, sang at our conference last year. And on Wednesday evening, Evangelist Shante Mundo from Greater St. Paul, and uh, we usually see them at just about every laddering function. They make their way in here. So it's good that we have this time of fellowship where they can come and be a participant in another capacity in our service. Please remember, parents, to give your assessment to one of the youth leaders. Gardner is here. And uh, Auntie Pam is here. You can give the $25 assessments, $25 per child. Uh, if you don't have any children and you want to uh, support one of the families with multiple children or, or just want to help out uh, the youth and, and take care of someone's assessment, please feel free to do that as they need money for 
different things that they're planning. Oh, this Sunday, the youth department has the kitchen and they're going to be selling dinners. Chicken. All right. We all know us church folk are very fond of chickens. Huh? Might even grow some feathers. Yes, parents, please, you can donate for the dinners so that we uh, land in the surplus and we don't just be spending the little bit of money we got to break even. Amen? Amen. I believe that is it concerning the conference. Uh, let us stand as we prepare to receive from our co-pastor on tonight. Just begin to bless the Lord for what we're about to witness. Are you ready to receive the word? Are you ready to be taught on tonight? Hallelujah. Open up your mouth and just begin to thank God as Pastor Jackie comes. Thank you. 
get that out. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. That's my desire. That's my prayer. When everything else is finished down here. Amen. I want God to be pleased with me. Amen. I don't want no, I don't want no issues with him. Amen. We can have issues down here. This is why it is so imperative in this season that we don't leave stuff undone. Forgive me, beg your pardon, I love you, whatever it takes. Amen is what we need to do in this season. Because we serve a God that is all seeing and all knowing. And you can shout ever so hard. I find that people can go through all those changes and still come up with something in their spirit. Amen. That's why when I was praying the other day and the Lord brought somebody before me that I really didn't want to pray for. He stopped me right there and said, if you can't get past this, where are you going? Amen. So it, there came a time when I had to come to grips with that. And I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> what does God show you when you're praying? Amen. You can't see. You can't see something wrong in your spirit. Something wrong in your heart. And think you're going to pray on past it. Even if you do. It's identified with God. Amen. And so we're just thanking God today. That's, that's my desire to please the Lord. Amen. Let's, let's, we have this announcement that we gave you twice already about the Northern Connecticut Inspirational College of Theology. And we know that this meeting is going to be held at sat on Saturday at 6. It's not going to be a long meeting, but we have asked all ministers, elders, evangelists, missionaries, deacons, deaconess, uh, department heads, we've asked you all to be present in that meeting, and there will be others who feel that they may just want to have more awareness, better understanding of scriptures. Um, to be out here on Saturday, they usually like to come through people's churches on Sunday, but our services are not where we need to sit and hear somebody give us a 55-minute dissertation while we need to be praising God. Amen. <laughs> and we need to be hearing the preached word and we need to be doing other things. So this meeting has been set aside for Saturday. Amen. And there is a mandate for all of those who I just called. There is a mandate for you to be in the house on Saturday to hear about it. There is no mandate for you to go to it or be a part of it. It is only a mandate for you to hear it feel that we need to do as other churches have done and let you hear that there's something that you might have time. Some people don't have time in their schedule. Some people don't have the finances. Amen. But we do want you to hear it and if it's something that you feel you want to take the time with, you may not want to do it this year, maybe you want to do it next year. But we do want to take this opportunity as God is elevating everybody and elevating our minds through the word, we will take this opportunity, amen, for us to hear. It is a fully accredited school. Um, you can, whatever degree you receive, it can be put on any resume and, and, be, um, and be recognized, amen. And um, so we want you to, and, and I want you to bear in mind what I said on Sunday. And I don't need people trying to bypass what you're supposed to know, what it does not take a degree to know. We don't need you to spend $1,000 and $1,500 and $2,000 to be rebellious anyhow. Are we all, is everybody with me? If you're disobedient and rebellious, it's probably going to be a waste of time for you because you'll be even harder to deal with when you think you can tie two scriptures together. If you don't know how to tithe, you don't, you don't need to spend $2,000. You need to get the Bible before the class starts. 
Everybody can follow me on that. Some of the richest people in the world have never been to biblical school. They followed.